So today I am going to show you guys how to turn this man's shirt into a trendy puff sleeve top. But before that, quick shout out to Boda Beauty. Do check her channel out. Hey guys, how are you? My name is Sana uh, from uh, Buddha Beauty channel. Actually, I have another channel, like uh, it's been four years, but I challenged myself to create a new one uh, in English because my first one is in Arabic in French. That's why my accent is not uh, so good, but I will learn and I will improve my English with you guys. So um, I hope that all of you will come to my channel like this. I will explain more about me, what I'm doing, what I like to, to show or to share with you guys and see you in my channel. First of all, I'm removing the pocket from the shirt as we won't need it. I'm ripping it off with the help of a seam ripper. Now, because I don't want to risk damaging the fabric under the pocket, I'm trying to take some edge of the thread out by pulling it carefully. And once one corner is out, I'm pulling the thread little by little. Once the pocket is removed, I'm keeping one and a half inches near the sleeve hole at the bottom. And also one inch around the sleeve hole near the seam line and I'm cutting it out. So basically, I'm just cutting out the sleeve, keeping one and a half inches at the bottom. Holding the sleeve near the shoulder seam line, I'm keeping one inch and adding a pin and going to do a straight stitch. This is going to create the puffy gathering we need for the sleeves and going to do the same for the other sleeves. Because it's bulky near the seam line, I'm cutting the excess out. Just make sure to follow both the seam line and not cut too much of the sleeves. I'm moving on, I'm folding the sleeve and pinning it down for hemming. Folding it, keeping about an inch, uh, which will make a tunnel because we will need to pass an elastic through the tunnel so make sure your tunnel is big enough for the elastic to pass through Once the tunnel is ready, I took an elastic 10 inches long and pinned one edge to one side of the tunnel with the help of a safety pin. And passing the elastic through the tunnel, and pinning the other edge on the other side of the tunnel and going to secure it um, sewing both the edges of the elastic with a straight stitch. From one sleeve to the other, I'm going to cut out the chest part of the shirt because we won't need that anymore. Also going to cut out the button line from the front part of the shirt. Just make sure to save it for later because we are going to need it. Because I want my top front to be v-neck, I went ahead and marked 4 inches from the top. Uh, but I forgot it wasn't filming, so... But anyway, the, where you can see the pink mark, that's where I am going to fold it and hem the edges. Next, I want to keep 9 inches as the length of the top, so I'm cutting out the excess. 
Moving on to the back of the top, I'm first folding it in half and cutting the excess, which in my case is 1 inch. If you're not sure about yours, always make sure to wear it and mark it off to know where exactly to cut it out. Now this is what we have for the back. I'm pinning it down to join them together and sew it in a straight line. So we've got three steps to follow here. First join the back pieces. Next, hem the top. And moving to the front, also hem the front top. Next, it's time to add the button pieces to the top. So I'm placing the piece with the button to the right side of my top. I'm trimming off the axis, keeping about a centimeter on both the edges and pinning it down to sew it. Just to make sure both the pieces are added in the right place, I'm first buttoning it down, adding the other piece so I know where exactly to trim it down. And doing the same, turning it wrong side out and pinning it down. So I'm going to sew the pieces together and also hem the top. If all these steps confuse you while watching the video, it may feel like a lot. But trust me, when you actually do it, it's very easy. So I will say watch the video and follow the steps one by one. So to make sure you exactly know what to do next. Now to make the bottom part more narrow to make sure it hugs my body like a glove and it's not loose at the bottom, I'm going to take off some fabric. So what I'm doing is folding one side of the top in half and going to mark one inch at the bottom and going to mark it in the middle drawing a diagonal line and pinning it down. And as you can see, this is creating that cup effect, giving more space to the chest area while it's narrowed down the bottom and doing the same to the other side. Also going to follow the same steps for the back. So I'm marking two dots in the middle of both the sides, drawing a straight line so I exactly know where to fold it. Taking one inch at the bottom and marking it at the middle, joining the two dots, drawing a diagonal line. Once I'm done pinning all the four lines, I'm going to sew them. So basically just follow the diagonal lines and sew it. And also going to hem the bottom. So there you have your super trendy Instagrammable puff sleeve top made out of a men's shirt for just about $4 while the Instagram brands are selling it for more than 100 bucks, which teaches us a little patience and hard work can give you fruitful results, which means you don't always have to spend money on everything you want. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It inspires me to make more videos for you guys and I'll see you next time. <laughs>